Hello everybody, this is Samuk here, and today I'm going to make another episode of Minecraft, and this time is just going to be a revision episode. Last episode I talked about the weather and tornadoes and storm fronts mod for 1.10.2, and I do understand that my voice was very drowned out by the game sound, so I'm just going to do one more video of this exact same thing today, uh, hopefully a better demonstration of the mod, and hopefully you guys will like this. I've also adjusted the volume of the game to the volume of my voice, so it'll better adjust, hopefully, maybe. So I found a village to test a tornado on, so let's get started. The Weather and Tornadoes mod basically just adds tornadoes, cyclones, hurricanes, and just clouds that look way more realistic than Minecraft rectangle block clouds. It's actually related to real weather. So it just doesn't randomly spawn clouds and randomly spawn tornadoes in random areas. Uh, it spawns these kinds of things in areas with large temperature differences and near bodies of water so you can get the moisture needed for a thunderstorm. So it's actually like realistic, not just random cloud spawning in random places. Like over here in this area, I wouldn't expect too many thunderstorms to form because there are not too many bodies of water, just a little river. And there isn't, well, there is a big temperature difference over here, so you may have a few thunderstorms around this area. But just to speed up the process, I'm just going to spawn one myself instead of waiting for one to spawn naturally. So I'm just going to spawn a tornado in this village and let's see the devastation caused by a tornado. Tornadoes have five scales in real life and also, sorry, six scales in real life and also in this game. Uh, the Fujita scale, F0 to F6. So I'm just going to spawn an F3 tornado just to make it fair. Create an F3 storm in the middle of this village, there will be a little bit of lag. So now we can see all the blocks of the village just being sucked up into the tornado, along with any villagers or any mobs within the storm. If I was in survival mode, I would also be sucked into the storm. There it goes, you can see villagers flying, you can see the entire village just being totally de demolished, just completely. Oh, creatures are raining down from the sky, this is, uh, this is quite shocking, you can see villagers flying up there. The winds are actually taking it that way towards that mountain, so it's not going to destroy the rest of the village. Now I'm just going to quickly go into survival mode and see what happens to me when I'm in this storm. Immediately I get sucked in, I'm not even doing anything. I'm not clicking any buttons, I'm not clicking forward, I'm, I'm only clicking jump when I get stuck against something. And it's just sucking me in, just straight away. Along with everything else, the storm is sucking me in too. If I get too close, the storm will actually pull me into the center and lift me into this cloud bubble, which is not cool. So you can see the rapidly rotating funnel cloud, the tons of rain pouring, all the all the high wind that you can just see. Now these are the blocks. Oops, wait one second. As I was saying, these are the blocks that are added to the game once you have the mod. So the tornado sensor is something that just tells you if a tornado is near you. Tornado siren beeps if a tornado is near you. A wind wane just tells you which way the wind's going. Weather radar tells you all the thunderstorms and tornadoes in your nearby area. Like this one right here. So if I put down a weather radar, it'll just be a, it'll just be a sign saying F3. Like watch. There we go. The F3 tornado has been registered on the weather radar, and now it just shows exactly where it is and which way it's moving to, if you look closely at it. You can see it is moving that way. 
So yeah, that's that's one of the most helpful blocks in this mod because you could you could tell when a tornado and stuff is coming in. Also, chickens after a tornado comes, only chickens are the only mobs that will be left at the attack site, the tornado site, because they're the only ones who won't die on impact. This tornado only hit this, this part of the village right here, but its devastation it did to the entire village is phenomenal. It completely destroyed it, in other words. It's still going, too. If you can see the funnel right there on the right side of the screen. This is what it did to houses. Ripped it open. It tore off every little uh, leaf on this tree and all the other trees in the area. And ripped the grass off the ground, too, if you notice that. There's also in this mod tropical cyclones like hurricanes, and they have a much larger wind field than tornadoes. So I'm just going to demonstrate that one too. I'm going to three, create a category three tropical cyclone that is basically just going to do the exact same thing, except it has a much larger wind field this entire area look at its size in the sky it's gigantic and it's just gonna randomly pluck blocks from inside its windfield like random dirt blocks, wood blocks from anything Tropical cyclones are not as destructive as tornadoes, but they have a swath of destruction in a wider area, so which makes them still dangerous. You can see some cows flying away in that storm, a villager. Pender cyclones can really suck you up, sorry, uh, cyclones can really suck you up and pull you into the sky very painfully. You can also deposit random blocks in random places like this right here. I'm just going to quickly change over to survival and show you what happens. You can see I'm immediately pulled into the center of the storm. Like that poor old villager right there. Oh look I'm floating! Help! Pressing the forward button right now and trying to get out, but the winds are so strong that it's not allowing me to move forward. It's that strong. Oh yeah, it also throws in leaves. As you can see, random leaf parts from trees go flying into storms. And also just when random winds come in, you can see leaves flying in the direction of the wind, which tells you which way the wind's going. Which tells you if a tornado might hit or not hit your house. So also know that. All I'm trying to do now is try to escape the cyclone. Okay. So anyway, that's demonstrated both a tornado and a tropical cyclone. Uh, together they've damaged. Beyond, beyond repair completely this village right here so there's no way to repair this where is this light coming from okay yeah there's no way to repair this village it is completely destroyed from both this tropical cyclone and this tornado so uh thank you for watching these are all the weather items that you can use and uh yeah thanks for watching peace oh yeah did i mention um sorry my phone's ringing uh, then I mentioned that um, the the instructions for downloading this mod will be in the description. Thanks. Bye.